Now I have a Nikon D40 and a, a Nikon 55 to 200 millimeter zoom, zoomed all the way out to 200 millimeters, on a Gigapan Epic 100. And I'm taking a little test panorama here to see if the new button pusher works. The Nikon D40 does not have a persistent two second self timer, but it does have a persistent two second delay if you use the Nikon ML-L3 infrared remote, which I have Velcroed to the top of the button pusher housing. And I have a new button pusher arm made out of a bent handle of a stainless steel fork, which is pushing the button on the infrared remote. I've put a little microphone on the mount so you can hear the button pusher arm mechanism working and so you can hear the camera beeping once a second. The two second delay allows vibration to settle down after the button pusher movement. So the only vibration when the shutter opens will be due to the mirror flipping up. The D40 has no mirror lockup feature. The $15 infrared remote is the key component because the D40 is also lacking a shutter release cable port and for some reason the normal self-timer turns itself off between shots.